So this is the third one that we've started. Yeah, Zach has a Zach look down real quick. Look down. E it's uh, it does look. You said it looked like horns, and it definitely it does, does look yeah, like horns. Yeah, it does kind of look like horns. Uh, I'll get this. <laughs> it's going. Stupid. My hair's going. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I got this. But I like at this it. point, what else is? A lot yeah. of great people. Yeah. A lot of great people have receding hairlines. That's true. I mean, uh, what Dracula? Dracula. There was a. Uh, was Steve Jobs? Was he bald? Yeah, I think he was just too smart. His brains pushed the hair out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, hi, Shauna. Hi, Shauna. Hey, let us... Can you hear that buzzing when it happens? Let us know if you can hear the buzzing. We can, and it'd be great if you, you guys can't. I'm going to take a hit and then uh, beat you on a race real quick while people get settled. What the hell? Bitch up in here thinks... You think you could just beat me in a race? Oh yeah, who else in the who else in the Salem comedy has receding hairline? Chris. Chris Pelka. Oh, Chris Pelka <gasps> for sure. I guess he's not in Salem comedy. He, I mean, he is a huge chunk of Salem comedy. But are we talking mm -hmm. like on stage people? He goes on the stage. Uh, I'd say he's a part of the scene. Uh, yeah, he's a little bit. He's got his little. Uh, he's got a little bit of a chunk of the scene happening. You know, he carved out the the uh, the OnlyFans. I think uh, section for Salem comedy. I wish my balls Here's... would go bald before my hair did. My top top. Bald. Oh, dude, just shave your balls. <sighs> Shaving your balls gives you. Well, first you have shaved balls. No, no, my uh, my ball barber's closed right now. Actually, I don't know if you've heard, but we're quarantined. We are quarantined. <clears throat> but uh, they they might do house calls. Got that face mask. Oh, that's true. Actually, they already have the face mask for all the shavings. I made my own hand sanitizer. This place is my hands are fucking sterile. Are you gonna get uncomfortable if I run upstairs real quick? No, why? just alone here with the the whole internet. Nah. Okay. Ask Zach questions. This yeah. is this is uh, time for uh, Ask Zach. You know, let's go to the news. Actually, I was listening to an old podcast today from like 2010 and heard a story about a a male porn star that was fired uh, from the porn production company and went in the next day with a katana, a mall katana, and fucking started slicing up people. He went postal at the porn production company uh, i think like a, a couple people got injured one person died he got out ran ran for the uh just ran for it cops start chasing after him corner him at a cliff have a standoff with him then they decide after this end of the standoff to tase the guy tase him and he falls off the cliff and dies <laughs> Oh yeah, the dumb way to dies, yeah. type of th type of things. Yeah. So I really like the. There's this TV show. I think it was on Spike TV back in the day. Those a, a thousand ways to die, or something like that. Yeah, they would always do like really gruesome ways that people would. They'd break it down. They'd have like, um, like CGI type of recreations of it. One of the ones I remembered was this guy that got out of a steamroller to <clears throat> use a porta potty take a shit and somehow left the steamroller like oh my god. going oh my god yeah and it rolled it over and it, and it like oh it was explaining how like your body would kind of act as like a tube of toothpaste and all of your uh, all of your organs kind of just get pushed out of the top of your head or whatever part <laughs> Whew. Oh, that's some, like, Roger shit. yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah you worked for acme no it's okay oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, I got shit. This new weird I got just has me all agreeable. Oh, okay. I won't need it the whole time, but I will need it while I have a controller in my hand because this is happening. You need it. You have something else in your hand too, boyo. Boom. I'm gonna play like this. Actually, this is how I'm gonna play, just by watching the camera. 
Um, oh, I hit the wrong button already. This is, oh, okay, I'm not doing that. There's no fucking way I'm going to do that. But, uh, oh, nope, okay, boom. What's happening? Oh, we're doing this. Nope, we're no, just no, going to do a we're couple races. Do, yeah, just a couple races. A little 100, 150 little, cc. A little warm us up. I haven't really talked to many people much at all today, so. How, uh, how was your day? Oh, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, that's going to sound terrible on the mics. Oh, well, yesterday I broke up with Overwatch. Oh, yeah, that was a big deal. Yeah, I uninstalled Overwatch. You had the weirdest face I've seen because, like, you're not one for emotion, you know? Yeah. And so you had, like, one of those uh, faces, like, you were, you looked sad. Like, there was, like, a part of you that was broken. <laughs> yeah, so, like, that uh, normally. I think I, I heard a tremble. I played a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 today, though. Did you take out your uh, aggression on Overwatch just on some people? Passers by? Nah. Tie them up to your horse? <laughs> nah, it's not the time for it. I oh. need more like passive, calm games, which is why I really want to get Doom. As soon as my government check drops, tell you what. I think I'm scared of how much everybody's going to have to start relying on the government. Mm hmm. And then be like, well, I need my money. And they'll be like, yeah, you do. Little slut. You, come, you want your money? Come get your money. Mm, bend Ooh. over. Get my money. Mm, fucking come get it. Dude. I, and, uh, but then they're serious, though. They're like, seriously, come get it. Can we're I spill gonna, Shaw, uh, some stuff in Shawshank Redemption? Uh, I haven't seen Shawshank Redemption. And it's, it's not. It's too soon, man. <sighs> when When is that made? Scroll down. Oh shit! I got a mouse right here. There we go. When was Shawshank Redemption? Is it a plural? Shawshank's Redemption. Shaw's. Oh, it's it's a guy named Shaw. His Shank Redemption. <laughs> yeah. He got stabbed, and he's like, leg. you know what? I'm coming back. Oh, you think I was talking? He got stabbed in his leg. Also, like, uh, let got, us know. He got shank shanked. Let us know if uh, the sound is like too weird or too something. Because, I mean, it sounds okay to me, other than that buzzing noise that's... I don't know how to fix it. I think it's because it's plugged into the wall. Or did I troubleshoot that? Yeah, yeah, we tried it. Oh, yeah, it's... It, I don't know what it is. Chris? 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 That's the, exactly Chris. the wrong person. That's, you're the most <laughs> useless person to me right now. <laughs> Your brother's like, I can maybe... <laughs> something? I don't know. <laughs> I uh, love you, Alex. Yeah, Alex, just look it up on your phone. I mean, Xander. that's what you would be doing if you were. Is that okay? <laughs> not touching that one. On the internet. Oh yeah, on the internet, he's Papa Zan. Don't forget. Where are we racing? You want to go random? Uh, yeah. Just fucking yeah, random, sure. and then we're hitting oh. Warrior, Warrior Coliseum? No. Wa Waluigi Coliseum. Oh yeah, everything's upside down and backwards. Is it really? <laughs> sure. There's an oh. L. There's a there's a L7 thing. L7 Luigi. Loser. Oh, oh, hey, shit. look at that. Oh, look, that fell. was the worst time for that. Oh, man. Um, I so, like... Oh yeah, I went and bought weed today. Okay. And they gave me free joints. Well, let's talk a little <laughs> bit about your breakup with Overwatch. That's... Because ever since I've known well, I, okay, you, I only uninstalled it. I think you've been playing Overwatch since before that game came out. Oh, no. I think I, <laughs> oh yeah, that baby. was fucked up. You threw. Oh wait, do it, do it, do it. Fuck, <laughs> fuck. Oh, those goddamn uh, piranha plants. Um, yeah, I just keep. But I feel like you've been playing that the whole time I've known you. I don't know if it's been out that long. No, uh, since I, I you've def I've been playing it for like the last probably oh, what's that? three years. That feel? Oh, yummy. Oh, it's just oh, me versus just, you. I just that's what it shot is. a red shell. That's just what it is. Wasted it. How's that? Um, Nothing. okay, boom. Stole that from you. Eat me. Um, hey, me star power. Oh. Oh, I'm stealing everything from you. Yeah, you're getting, you're going into like second place and then getting an item box, and it's one of the oh, good ones. Oh, that was weird. Uh, and I'm also just playing bad. Um, so what did yeah, Overwatch? Like three years. You know, you know, as as your as your guy friend, I'll be there for you in this moment. Yeah. What did Overwatch do? Um, well, I realized that I just like I'll play a game because you just want to be the best at it and you want to win all the time, right? Um, I grew out of that, but I was there, yes. Yes. I, I su I'm super into the competitive side of it. Yeah. Um, oh, dude! Realized... That was fucking awesome. My rank, Hell yeah. My rank is never going up. I'm just like, 
win one, lose one. I don't think I'm ever actually getting better at the game. Well, what if it's like... Uh, get better at something else. What if that's just how good you are? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> are you trying to talk me back into going with my with the, with, the, with the game I just broke up with? No, I'm just saying like... Some uh, type of guy friend you are, man. I'm saying... <laughs> like, uh... So, there's people that can do certain things and, like, there are... Dude, stop with the red shells. There <laughs> are. Just keep giving them to me. There are actual physical limitations. Some people have more like faster reaction speed and have been playing that game, and they're just younger. younger. Taught it? They're yeah, and they're just younger than you, and they have they've been actually they're probably the more autistic than you are. Uh, I'm gonna oh, uh, fucking get it, get it, get it. God damn it, a little bit. Um, so. It's fine. It's only uninstalled. Like I'll probably I'll probably re redownload it at some point. Oh, they got a new character coming out soon. Your brother's asking what he's supposed to look up, and I don't remember. Oh, why? Why? Yeah, it's it's not you... doing it anymore. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So we'll just not talk about it. As soon as we forget about it, it goes away. This would be the same if you two were jerking it to porn. <laughs> we are uh, kind of. I mean, this is really. Ugh, fuck. What the oh. fuck is this? I got a thing that popped up. I don't know what. Okay. It oh, bit. it was it was Jesse commenting on a thing popped up and it... Chad's got a new computer. He's still getting used to it. Yeah, it's hard for me to. What is this? I hate it. I don't. Know. I'm not used to it. Shit's popping up. That's got... my that's my chat impersonation. I thought uh, I thought pop ups <laughs> were over with, and then I got a I got one popped up. Mushroom City. Here we go. Um. Mm. Uh oh, yeah, I'm in second, <laughs> which is last. We we're um, both beveraging. So yeah, I think maybe I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that uh, people experience physical limitations with all the time, but I can't think of a good example. I was thinking like sports examples. Like there are people that will be faster than people, you know, all the time. That's always going to be a thing. It's oh like, yeah, it's like. Uh, People will be stronger just because they're built that way. Maybe these people are actually just built to be better at Overwatch than you. You're in the you're in the seventieth percentile. Not you're good. Yeah, it's not. Oh fuck! It's nice that you can always go back though. That is true. If she hurts you again, I'll fucking I'll fucking kill fucking, her. Dude. I'll fucking break, kill break her. the game. Break I'll the game. I'll fucking in half. kill her. To be fair though, dude, Wait, that game's so weird because there's been times. Yeah. Oh. There's been times when I'm like. I get a, uh, uh, I'd get like so mad at the game. Like, why don't we have a playlist? Just lose for like three days straight, and then uh, I'm like, oh, just break the game. I'm just gonna break the game. I don't have to worry about it anymore, dude. If you do break the game, I'll help you like <laughs> fucking dig a hole and <laughs> no, yeah, we should do it. Yeah. <laughs> dude, if it, if it gets real bad, we'll uh do like a off the space type of thing. Oh hell yeah! You know, I just watched Office Space. God damn it! I I can watch that movie oh as many times and as it'll play in front of me. Lee. I watched it and then the next day I sat down and I was like I might turn on Office Space again just to hang out and watch Office Space. It's, it's, fuck. It's uh I connect with that movie so much. There's a conversation that I swear that I I've just said to people because he he's like uh. He's, he's just talking about how he doesn't want to go to work. And she's like, well, what are you going to do like about bills? He's like, I don't like paying those either. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that anymore either. And it's just, it's great. That does explain a lot of my... I think office space is responsible. I'm going to actually uh, send Mike Judge a letter and say that all my financial troubles are his responsibility. Because I watched that too young. Mike Judge... Calling you out. Order in the court, Mike Judge. Oh, fuck. I don't want it. Okay. We'll do one. <laughs> we'll do this the last best one. comment from Alex. I hate you. Zach, how's it feel knowing I'm the only working adult in the family right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is fun. How you, does it feel? You white bitch. How, how does it feel knowing that your younger brother is the only adult? Hey. I just gotta, I'm just gonna mooch off him for a little bit. Oh, oh that's shit. Good. 
Should go ask him for rides. <laughs> <laughs> Have him. Uh, oh fuck! I fell right off the. We're we're doing Rainbow Road. So, uh, dude, I went to Taco uh, Bell last night. What? Yeah. Mother. Wait. After watching McMillions. Uh, no, well, I finished McMillions, but like I, ever since I, I put my hilarious post on Facebook the other day. I just fell off the track for the third time. Nero, Nero. <laughs> wow, you're way behind me now. Uh-oh. Yeah. I shouldn't be alive. I saw that Jeff uh, shared your uh, Facebook post. He must like that one. It's good to have fans out there. Yep. It's always nice. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Dude, uh... So when it was my one year of not drinking, my ex-wife took me out to dinner and she was like, hey, have a have a steak or whatever on me. Congratulations. And my daughter was there and the waitress came and she was like, hey. And then she kind of looked at me weird. And then uh, she looked familiar. And then we ordered or whatever. And she came back and she's like, oh, I know where I know you from. You're a comedian. And I felt so, I'll just be honest. It felt great to have that happen right in front of my ex-wife. Oh, yeah. I feel, it feels great to have that happen in general. But for that situation. In yeah, I was like, I was like, like dude, oh, I think, I think she was like, I wonder if she was being cool. I, wonder, I, like, I, wonder, do, I, I think this is his ex-wife. Yeah, no, I wonder. I wonder if uh, if your if your ex-wife was like, or like either way, either, either way, it'll feel cool to be if you're out to dinner with someone. It'll feel cool to have someone be like, "Hey," until you, it's not until it's like you, all uh... the time. Yeah, that's true. You like Hulk Hogan famous? I guess yeah. You're almost there. I'm not. I'm not there. You're close. Actually, I think I'm getting you're pretty cu- close. You're cusping on Hogan. You see me in a Lambo the other day? I did. I saw that post. I think uh, Jeff saw that one, too. I, saw it. I think he reposted that. Yeah, fans, man. <clears throat> Got fans. And hoes in different area codes. You should just start handing out uh, pictures of yourself and be like, hey, if you see me with anybody, just come up and be like, hey, are you... Oh, oh yeah. What I was gonna say? Do you think? Do you think? Uh, do you think your ex-wife had any suspicion of like? I wonder if he like set her up to this. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, yeah. He ran. Into, I, he ran into the. He ran into the, the waitress on the way to the bathroom. Yeah, like hey, hey, just it, validate it, it, it me mean, for a second. It'd mean a lot to me if you could just come over and you know, <laughs> just boost my confidence. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh, I'm sorry for like I I don't know what that like it probably looks really funny because my hands are all cut off and I'm just going ooh, <laughs> uh, but it's it's me really trying to stay on the track. Those are my faces that I have and use. What the? Okay, why am gonna... I not turning? Oh no. Okay. So fucking Christ, way ahead of me. Mm-hmm. All three, all three, three, three races. Three for three. All three races and i found out it's uh, it's because i haven't drank anything today oh shit no drankins yeah not not for right now keep going at it too hard it's like i'm getting too, too many thick beers i'm getting married to this mic stand <laughs> should uh divorce it yeah you get like another 15 minutes of jokes <laughs> I don't I don't stand by many of those jokes. No, nah, but see, sometimes you got to just you got to get it out. I you got to get know. it out. It's 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 a genre to joke about. It is a genre to joke. But not when you're so early. Like I got divorced right after I started comedy. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, "Oh, I'm just going to make a bunch of jokes about getting divorced." And uh it was it was fine. I don't know. I, I had I had probably two good jokes out of out of all that, but it was just a lot of. Well, Wait, you only have two good jokes? Yeah. No, I have two good jokes that I've ever written. <laughs> I never performed. I, I've was the one about is the one about uh, cheese grating Leo butt to nose. Oh yeah, starting it. Yeah, butt first. <laughs> what do we have? Let's uh, let's catch up on some stuff. Yeah, let's catch point. up on some comments. Oh, it's popping in the comments. <laughs> it's just your brother. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Uh, but 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 uh. 
internet pop five. Jeff says sounds okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you, <laughs> okay. Hey, don't set that mic thing on fire. And if you think you might, you can just take it off. <laughs> okay. Papa fucking Xan. Okay. Papa Xan. Who's Papa? Well, he, isn't he a father? Yeah. So then, yeah. He's a Papa. And he likes pills. Papa right. Papa I think, I think, yeah. Never mind. Okay. How's it feel? Okay. Job. Uh, same joking on joking. Yeah, because it was just. Uh, yeah. yeah, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Aging out of. I'm having trouble reading. <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. Um, uh oh. So. Yeah, because I can read it a little bit sitting all the way back, which means you. You might have to get your eyes checked, dog. <laughs> That's fine. I can. Uh, I can, uh, I could use some glasses. You just be one of those, like, when you need them glasses per pe uh, people. Uh, yeah, <laughs> where am I? Where are my fucking readers? Oh, where Jesus. are my spectacles? Where are my, my readers are somewhere. I left them, oh, they're up on my nightstand next to my novel. I was reading The Pelican Brief. Boxers? The Pelican Boxers. The Pelican Boxer Briefs. The Pelican Boxers briefings. I uh, saw John Grisham's house one time. Oh, really? Yep. That's the most boring place you fact that you <laughs> ever told me about your life. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Florida. We were on like a boat thing, and uh, <laughs> and it was in Destin, Florida. And he had a house right next to Britney Spears' house, and it was just someone going like, oh, that's John Grisham's house, and that one's Britney Spears' house. That's interesting. And I was like, all right. Uh, but it, I think it was on the way. Why didn't you say you saw Britney Spears' house? Because we were just talking about the Pelican Brief. Oh, 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 the Pelicans yeah. Briefs. I got. I, I took down my mic arm, and then I got jealous of you having like two hands free. I don't know. Actually, I might. I'll see how it goes. I got this. I might take it off once I uh, finish this joint. But for now, for now, it's holding up. It's working pretty good. We don't have to wear masks in here because. Uh, we live together. You know, you know the the. You ever heard of the website We Live Together? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's one that I got really. Is John Grisham the guy in Ten Cloverfield Lane? Yeah, that's John Grisham. He was also in uh, Fallen with uh, Morgan Freeman. Oh man. I got a keyboard killing it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, you're I'm tuning gonna in. I'm going to start a loop. Yeah, you're tuning in. It's getting crazy. Yeah, I'm going to boost our numbers a little bit. And we're saying, yeah, exactly. So how do you, are you, wait, can I tell you, can I show you something that I discovered uh, that's kind of gross, but I don't know if it is. If I want my phone to stick to my leg when I'm wearing shorts. Mm -hmm. Did you lick it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's, I mean, it's my phone, my mouth. So it is your phone, your mouth. I saw a thing at my work today on a poster that said, uh, fact, uh, your phone contains 20 times the bacteria of a toilet. I was like, I mean, which toilet? <laughs> Cause like my, my work toilet, that's really bad. My house toilet, that's like just one step back from my work toilet. Yeah. But like some, like some toilets well, no, are pretty your work clean. It's probably pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Well, if you think about, well, it probably gets washed more often than the toilet here. You have to think about, like, the amount of people going there, the amount of back different bacteria that are being brought into the toilet scenario. The amount of Coronas that go in there. Emma's telling me not to lick my phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that. I can't. I'm... Emma, I'm using uh, your pipe. 
because I broke my other pipe. The end. Yeah, don't leak your phone. Um, some people even like other people in the pizza game. I've they've told me that they'll uh, go wash their hands if they're at work if they even touch their own phone. Oh, really? Which is insane to me. I do it sometimes. I, uh, that's uh, that's like a good good idea, yeah. and especially now. Like I definitely do it now. Um, but I, uh, it is, it's your own phone and yeah. that, that's, I don't know. At work, I'll definitely do it if like customers see me use my phone, mm -hmm. but that's we, because I don't want any shit from, from no one. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. We don't I'm have customers anymore. That's true. It's so weird. And yeah, I don't have a kind job of nice, anymore. Except for that's true. It, it's it's uh, it's kind of nice, except for the fact that nobody fucking gets it. They don't get that there's a you can't come in, and and it says in big. It's crazy. It's people don't uh, don't read that it says you can't walk in here, and then they just try to they go why is it why why can't I get in the here? And then you just point to the sign. And you're like, dude, read the thing. Yo, soy no l walk in here. Yeah. Um, but it's was, crazy that people still get confused by it because it's been so long. Yeah, there was someone that came, and he goes, uh, he was pulling on the door, and I was like, "You have to call." And I was like, "You have to call." And he goes, uh, "I didn't bring my phone." And I was like, "Why not?" And he goes, uh, "He goes." That's why this music is really distracting me. <laughs> so is Leo. Uh, I said, why not? And he goes, oh, there's something uh, wrong with it. And I was like, I don't, like, I just didn't believe him. Yeah. Because I was like, you're just making that up. Yeah. You just want your stuff and you're just a dude who's like, I just want to get the thing. It's like, no, everybody has to fucking take your turn. Like we were talking about earlier, it's it's like an inconvenience. And then people are going, I'm in being inconvenienced. It's a social it's like, contract that we've all signed. Everybody is too. Fucking... Stop. Fucking hate some people out there, dude. But it's weird because like DM is doing no cash. You can only use card there. DM the weed store. Um but other weed stores are still just like cash. Yeah, it's it's just like a person to person basis. Like whoever wants to I wonder if it's like a a, a long term like how you remember the company plan, because like DM's always been like a, a image first kind of yeah yeah image first uh, dispensary. Uh, they've got good deals and good weed and everything, but it's it's got a very specific look to it. Oh, Emma says to show the people how cool her pipe is. I called it the Jafar pipe earlier. I gotta make sure it's not gonna fall. Okay. It's got this. It looks like this. Boom, 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 boom. It does that. Okay. Yep. That's okay. Boom, boom. So, do you? What are you? What? Okay, I see. Are you? Uh, what do you? What have you watched? Because uh, you're you're grinding. You watched fucking Shawshank Redemption today. Yeah, I did. I got home and I was like, I thought you were playing because I heard like a... No, I, th I was like, oh, he's no, already he's back to Overwatch. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were... Uh, that's why I peeked in your room real quick. I was like, are you already back to... <laughs> you're already back to her? She called you. Um, oh, that's fun. I didn't hit record on that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll take it from... Well, that's... <laughs> That's great. <laughs> God damn it! That's sometimes you forget, you forget to hit the record button. No, this, that's that's uh, that's good because I can just pull it from that and it's fine. Um, oh, what we're just talking about? Oh, watching a lot of stuff. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, yeah. So I peeked in your room and you're watching Shawshank Redemption, and I was like, uh, okay. And then it was funny that you were fucking watching Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I've never watched just... it before. How is it? I haven't either. Sucked. Honestly, it sucked. Doesn't hold up. It <laughs> doesn't hold up. Is it just boring? No, 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 no. I, I was kidding. It's it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's really good. 
I think I've seen some movies really that cool people are really about. like really into, and uh, been like, oh, that, that I did, I hated that because it just didn't hold up. It was like it took it, it's like too much time has gone by. Oh yeah, and, and I'm just not. Yeah, well, what what's done that for me? Four rooms. I uh, sorry. I, I, there's a lot of people that are like, "Oh, four rooms is fucking great." There's, it's just like there, there's like this one shot, and oh, it's it's fucking awesome. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I was I was disappointed by it. I don't remember if that's a Tarantino movie. I don't think so. Or uh, wasn't it one of those? Wasn't it like directed by four different people? Was that that movie? Maybe. Hmm. If only there was a way to figure that out. Oh, uh, earlier I was I started the uh, live stream with my music playing through the thing. Oh, I guess I don't need that anymore. My music was playing through the audio. I just had like a. Anyway, I was playing. Uh, we got pulled down for copyright stuff immediately. Like it. They were watching our stream, though, so yeah. that's pretty cool. <laughs> you think Doja Cat was like, uh, oh, cool. Those those dorky-ass white boys are uh, jamming out. Oh, she definitely Just knows. Just staring off at, at something else. Hey, one time I, one time I sent Car- Doja Cat a Snapchat. Because <gasps> she put her Snapchat thing up on uh, Instagram. Was and it your penis? And she saw it. Nope. It- <laughs> it's a picture of Mango. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Did DMX ever get back to you? No, because like we made a we made a video where you mentioned that you asked DMX if he was your dad, but you actually did. <laughs> ask yeah, DMX yeah. I said like I said like probably like ten tweets in a row. Never got back to you. No, nope, never got back to is me. Is he in jail or is um, he out of jail? Oh no, you just went and saw him. Yeah, he's definitely he, he's out of jail. Last I heard, he was in, he he went to rehab, but he's probably out right now. He checked himself into rehab is a good thing you think he just was like <laughs> i could I gotta, I gotta go take a break honestly like, yeah a lot of people are wanting money from me yeah <laughs> was it drugs or was it like drugs rehab oh, or uh, like brain probably, rehab probably um or is he like either like drugs or alcohol my hip my hip's fucked up the way the, the, the way it was explained was like drugs or alcohol dogs got dysplasia <laughs> <laughs> i'm a purebred it happens fix my hip <laughs> Massive hip. Goddamn selective breeding. <laughs> so uh, you got Taco Bell because you were uh, feeling it. You were watching a lot of McMillions. McMillions. The McDonald's. Um, it's why you never won the million dollar prize in the Monopoly game when you were growing up. I feel like I won it once. I did, but I was I didn't like I was like, hey. Can we go to the McDonald's? I got to cash in my thing. And my parents were like, no. The million? Yeah, I won a million dollars. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> anyway. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should believe you I or wanna, not. They also, yeah, I, uh, I won a plane, too. Cashed in on the plane. Oh. And your dad works at NASA. No, he lives McMillions. in Nassau County. McMillions. Uh, yeah, so that's the story of uh, is it, do you want to just go ahead and go spoilers on it? Yeah, uh, yeah, let's go. I don't know. Do you want to, are, are you okay with spoilers? I don't care. Like that well, I'll, I'll keep it, I'll keep it like not... spoilers. Oh, my review is watch it. It's on Hulu right now because of the HBO thing. One of the free ones you can watch. Uh, it's about the FBI getting involved because there's like a one of the guys who involved in like the uh, advertising company was stealing the million dollar pieces and distributing them out to people uh, that he knew who would distribute them out to more people and uh, would get a cut of it and they'd win a million dollars and yeah, I don't know. It's really cool. It showed how the FBI worked. It was back in like 2001. A lot of weird twists and turns. But I don't think it's as good as Tiger King. Tiger 2001, King that's right around some other events. That... 
Oh yeah, <laughs> America was having fun with. I don't know if I want to spoil that that, but I just remember being a strong ear tiger, 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 King. tiger, tiger. It kind of ruined documentaries for me. Me and Curtis were talking about it the other day. How did it it's ruin like, documentaries for you? Well, it just doesn't. Nothing else is like as crazy. It's so bizarre at every. It's like I can't even believe that it's a real thing that's going on. Did you ever watch Tickled? Mm-mm. What's that one? That's the one about the the tickle people who competitive tickling. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll check that out. It's got quite the twist. Twists and turns all all over the place. Yeah, check that one out. That one's on. Right. Uh, that's on something. What do we got? Uh, hey, uh, what's what do you guys? documentary what do you guys documentary i haven't watched one in i think since i watched tickled um what do we got here see you know what a really good documentary was that i loved when i was growing up was uh the king of kong the one about the uh the guy trying to get the high score in donkey kong you watched that a bunch of times on like g4 yeah yeah for sure who's woody who's woody alien oh it's uh it's a toy story reference Okay. <laughs> you know the little like <laughs> claw kids? Uh oh yeah. Woody Alien. That's uh one of those. Oh, oh Tickled I have one of those at Coin Jam. Tickled is so good. It's on Prime. Emma th- Emma Think. Oh yeah, I got free Prime right now. Nice. Check out Tickled. It's it's uh it's crazy. I don't know how to I Thin just blue line. Was that about cops? Yeah. Is cops a no, documentary? It's, it's that, about that. Is part cops that, a TV show a documentary? It's about. It's about a lot of documentaries. Lynn. The thin blue line is about uh, that part that's under Genie's belt. <laughs> but is a uh, his wisp, as he calls it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't talk about my wisp. I think uh, I think they made Will Smith's wisp bigger and girthier. <laughs> <laughs> Got that thick wisp. <laughs> I didn't see that Aladdin. But I, I I don't think I'm going to. I watched uh, the Lion King remake. I watched about ten minutes of that, and I hated it because I loved the original Lion King. It, it was great, and I mean, duh. But this one just like did all the same lines, but it's like all the lines fall flat, and all the animals have like real weight, so they can't be cartoony and when they jump around. Hmm. So it's like a lion moving slow, and like you know they jump. At each other, like there's still like the you know Mufasa and Scar, like you one jumps in front of the other one. Yeah, yeah. But it's I don't know. The opening scene's really cool. Watch it for that. It's watch like they, it, no, that, just that happens that. a lot where like they cash in a lot on like luring you in at the beginning. Yeah, and then, then they just, just kind of like it falls flat. Yeah. Um, you know, movie I, I think about it a lot is the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Yeah. It's kind of like that for me. Like, I wish so much more out of it, but at the end of the day, I was like, all right, yes. Yeah. It's Sonic I, the Hedgehog movie. I watched it. it terrible. Like, just stone sober with my daughter and was just like, what the fuck? Because, like, it's just, there's so much going on in that movie that doesn't, that it doesn't line up to... I think everybody loves Sonic and the effort that went into that movie so much and were so happy that like they fixed the Sonic for the fans and then they saw the movie and they didn't want to say anything bad about it. But it's, it's the, the, one of the crazy things about it is that it doesn't work as like a movie. It's just like, uh, like Emma was saying, it's just like a collection of montages and it really is. There's so many, like it's a montage and then, like an in-between scene, like a filler, kind of like, okay, we gotta, I gotta go in here, and then you just wait here, and then he gets distracted with something almost every time. Yeah, it's like, well, the other thing from like from like a fundamental point, it starts in a really cool place and ends in a really cool place, but the yeah. whole middle they take it takes place in boring ass America. <laughs> I I think uh, I think that is the result of it that movie being redone so many different times. And then they're just like, you know what? Put it out. Just get it out so we can just cash in while we still have something that's, you know, 
we can still put pieces of what we had. I don't know. It it, it feels like a movie that really has been like uh like they took pieces. I don't know, bit my tongue. But like they took pieces out and just filled it with like okay, just yeah, get that in there. I really want there the to good be good news. Sorry, the good news about that though is uh, Detective Pokemon Detective Pikachu, I believe, is on Hulu right now. Oh, so go watch, real? go watch that. Let me double check if that's the service. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, right there. Boom, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. There it is. Okay, yeah, on Hulu. I don't. I mean, you can just look it up. Um, Wowza. Watch that. It's great. I know what I'm doing. It's it's really fun. You don't have to like Pokemon. You don't have to know, understand what Pokemon, anything about it. Good, because I have no idea what Pokemons are. I think they just say it at like one at a time, but it's like a moose. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. It's like a, <laughs> it's like it's like a. <laughs> How moose. many are there? Or uh, there are I think like thirty. Thirty. Pokemon. Thirty different Pokemon. Holy. Yeah, I think there's. There's it's almost like as many dogs. Okay, there's different types of dogs as there are, you know what I'm saying? Pikachu, there's Charmander, there's the Beetle, and then there's the one that looks like uh one of those the banana in runts. <laughs> you know that candy that's all oh, fruits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one that looks like the banana. Yeah. Uh there's a starfish and then there's a double starfish. Oh, wait. Here's then a... there's then there's blue fats uh, snore snores snores a lot okay snores a lot and then there's uh oh we're we gonna play a name that pokemon yeah okay cool this is a fun game there's a there's a pokemon that popped up and most of my pokemon knowledge comes from super smash super smash bros oh, the actors. whole series uh um so yeah i'm just gonna show you a picture of a pokemon and you're gonna give me its name perfect how are we gonna okay are you gonna Oh, you can. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure you out. Can say, if I can... You can write the. You can say the actual name. After. Yeah, and then. I mean, I think I got to thirty, with all that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got to thirty. The, there's a movie called Enemy, that I watched last night, on like a watch party thing. X with, videos with Emma. <laughs> uh, X videos. No, the the enemy is the wrong. It's spelled. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Here's 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 one. one. It's uh called Enemy, and it's fucking weird. What's the what's the one here in the middle with all the tails? Uh, that one is Peacock. Peacock Fox. Peacock Fox. Pe Peacock Fox. Yeah. It's interesting. Peacock Fox. It's actually nine tails. Nine tails. Yeah. No, I I, I, knew, I knew that one. I, I knew that one, but I had to. I was trying to think oh, of something I else. I had a Japanese holographic nine tails when Ooh. I was young and trying to scam kids out of Pokemon, like trying to. Like, oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah. No, I was like the, the like nine year old that talked to like seven year olds and was like, "Hey, this one's worth this," and would just trade and fucking try to, but. I don't know. Who's this? Who's this swirly bellied guy? The swirly belly guy? That's a uh, swirly. Nah, you're wrong again. Oh fuck. That's a uh, that's enemy with Jakey G. There's <laughs> what? There's Polly said. Polly Whirl and. Uh... Do you think what's, there's? Do you think there's mean? like inner inner species? fucking in the po in like the Pokemon wilderness and sometimes they're just like wandering around and they just walk in on like you know do duo boning down on an onyx they're like Jesus this shouldn't happen oh I what thought sort you of non active nature I thought you meant like yeah. uh you know nurse Becky getting some like machop fisting or something Oh, actually, yeah, because some of them are quite... Wait, is Goro a Pokemon? Goro One of them's called from... Mr. Mime, which implies that it's like... That he's a person? It's a person with a like a human job. <laughs> <laughs> he is a mime. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Goro is like... There's like Machop and Mahopchop and Mahopscotch, and uh, they're all the same thing. And then Machope. Uh, there's Goro. 
Gold. He's Goro from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> He's the same thing. Oh, yeah, actually, I heard that's where they got the inspiration for that Mortal Kombat character was Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it... Uh... No, I was going to say it started in ja uh, Japan. Japan! So I've gotten into a little bit of uh, branching off of... What's her name? Megan the... Megan the... Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion. Is that who that is? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, her music's pretty good. Yeah, she's filthy. I like it. All dirty <laughs> raps. Oh, she filth. <laughs> I highly uh, suggest. But yeah, just... Uh, just Put on uh, what's that one fucking song that you're like, hey, listen to this, and then uh, cash it. That's what it is. Oh, cash it, yeah. And uh, yeah, I had that going to the car with my daughter, and I was like, this is a good song, and I'm like, yeah, I just I can't. Like, I almost was, I I was actually uh, fine with it while she was singing, but then I knew that there was like the guy that's coming on. He's like. She's sucking my dick while I'm fixing her weave, and then I pull it out and I titty fuck. And I was like, I can't have that playing while she's in the car. But if a woman, Daddy, is, what's a weave? If, if, if a woman is like, if she's talking Ugh, about well, it, first things first, there's that, like something called black people. That makes it, yeah. Um, <laughs> see, that's the confusing. Okay, so I always thought, um, I don't, I don't know what a perm is anymore. I don't know what a weave is, to be honest. Uh, uh okay, I don't. I think it's like hair extensions that kind of. If you say you think you know what it is, and you also don't know what it is. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't for sure know at all. Um, somebody look up on the internet what a weave is, and then. Put nah, it I don't want to. I just want like to. I like to stay. That's true. That's what I want to know. Um, so there's a per like. Uh, this this is what actually got my attention on this. Uh. The, there's, you know, you can get a perm. If you get a perm, that's like you, you have your hair curly, big right? fucking curly hair. Yeah. Leo, Leo stop doing that. Leo, <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> He's got the itchy butt. <laughs> okay. And uh, so, is it a joke when black people talk about their perm and they have straight hair? I can't. I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because watching Cat Williams, like he's he gets very Leo. Don't do that. It's just he's gonna do it on your sock. <laughs> Put your toe in here. Put, itch, itch the inside with your toe. Um, he gets really physical. What are you? I don't like. No, Zach's not wearing any pants. That's that's the that's the scary thing here. <laughs> it's fucking, ooh. Uh, can you at least cover your balls up with your dick? <laughs> I'm gonna cover my balls up with this little. Uh, oh no, mic cover. Oh no. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, Cat Williams gets very uh, he gets like it's curly physical, and he goes, "Oh, I, met, I almost messed up my perm." Maybe but he he's got really straight hair. Maybe he doesn't know what a perm is, and that's the joke. I I'd be fine with it. I don't care what he doesn't know. He's he's the most entertaining human ever. I fucking love watching everything he does. Yeah, he, he he's up there. He's up there like one of those just man. To exist with them. I put them in like the same category as like a Bobby Lee type. That'd be interesting. Yeah. It'd be fun to see the both of them on. I'm, I'm sure they've been like, just come up here. Okay. Hold on. Dog. I'm sure they've been on a, like a radio show together or something like that. Oh, yeah, actually. Have you watched any uh, comedy specials? Oh, boy. Um. Well, I watched the uh, the Burt Crash one, Tom Segura ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. I rewatched uh, Ari Shafir's Double Negative yesterday. How did you have to torrent it? It's on Netflix. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought they took all of his stuff down because he uh, Kobe stuff. Uh, uh No, I don't think. I don't think they care. I think certain people are like, okay. Yeah. But. What, I don't, at this I don't point, think at this point, it's is, like, oh, really? So that's what you guys were upset about? Yeah. Well, and I don't think Netflix is. Worried about losing money for something like that. Yeah, but I thought I, th I thought they uh, pulled his the release for his uh, his special, the Jew special. No, he didn't film that. Was he was going. Back? He was going to, but then it just he was gonna like film it and then sell it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um. 
I watched the Louis special. Oh yeah, we I watched Louis special yeah. too. I liked it a lot. It's yeah, really funny. It's good. It's really funny. I'm uh, glad that came out. You could take the man, the man out of comedy, but you can't take the comedy out of the man. It's like prison that way. Mm-hmm. Um, I did this thing where I was uh, talking on the internet saying, hey, uh, I haven't seen these movies. Tell me which order to watch these movies. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And uh, some people weighed in and... You're going to finally watch Back to the Future? I'm telling you, I have watched some movies since then, and I have watched Office Space, and mm -hmm. I watched... Oh, here's... I watched this. This, I watched this. This. <laughs> Dean Martin Celebrity Roast of Frank That's Sinatra. Better. That's better than any movie you could watch. Though. Um, On DVD, both of them. Both of them on it's DVD. so great. I watched uh, Catch Me If You Can. Um, I watched Snatch and, and The Matrix. So, it's all DVDs you have to put in. Uh, the Matrix and Snatch are both on Netflix. Oh, okay. So they're pretty easy to watch. But it's also all stuff that we ha own because you've seen them so many times. Yeah, no, I have to have those around <laughs> me at all times. I have to have Office Space, Your comfort watching. The Matrix, and Snatch. Those are my three that I have to have in every place I live. Oh, just yeah. Just to make sure. Mine's like Big Lebowski. Yeah, that's another one. Um... That's another one to just like that's that's one of the secondary, but there's gotta have the top yeah. three. Honestly, Shrek. This shit holds up. Shrek's really fucking good. Yeah. Yep. And like I feel like it's one of those movies that I'll watch again and again and it'll always remind me of like good times in life. Never had a bad time watching Shrek. No. Yeah. And I, I never saw I past... got raped to Shrek. <laughs> even with all that stupid fucking Shrek stuff, the crazy shit that's on the internet, yeah. I haven't lost like the it, it's weird how it, it became like its own meme and like such an important piece of weird fucking art on the oh, internet yeah. dude the whole the Shrek is love, Shrek is life that's so fucking weird one of my favorites it's so weird. It's so weird. The fact that someone set aside time in their life, probably days, I would assume, to create that. And then the amount of people that have watched it and the amount of joy it brings me to watch something like that. Why does that exist? Why does that happen? Boom. Thank you. Yep. Um, how is your how is your like uh, diet changed? I eat like shit and, like, cooking. all the time. You cook though a lot. I do cook. A oh, you know what? I, have to pee. Ooh, I think I'm making tamales here soon. I gotta go pee. We do, talk about talk about something you cooked. Oh, you gotta pee? Yeah. You can go first. I'll talk about something. I'm prompted. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Okay. Well, how are we doing? One, two, three, um, go. Yeah, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Shit. Something I've... Tamales. Something I've cooked recently. Oh, yeah. Uh, ate a... Look at this guy. Special guest Leo. Leo, who do you think should have won the war? Interesting. Uh, yeah, I made a baked potato. Been making a lot of smoothies. I'm a smoothie god now. Fucking changed my name to Jamba Juice. Um, is Shrek on Netflix? Jeff, this isn't Google. Jeff, go to another tab and Google that question. Is Shrek on Netflix? Get out of here with. Get out of here with that. Oh, anyways, so what I was saying earlier about the uh, about the porn star guy that got tased and fell off the cliff, do you think that was the best day of his life or the worst day of his life? Where do you think it ranks? Because that's a pretty badass way to go. So I saw a crazy video on Reddit today of a guy that tried to pull a taser away from a cop, and they just pulled out their guns and blasted him. It's kind of tragic, but that's what you get if you pull out a cop's gun. If How does... How do you not realize that? Okay, my turn. My boxers are all... Air it out, air it out, air it out! Is Shrek on Netflix? I don't know if Shrek's on Netflix. I think you have the same capability I do. I can mean, I can check. It's on something, I'm pretty sure. I would I would check Netflix. Shrek the Musical. Oh. I want to know if someone's seen Shrek the Musical. 
on Netflix because Shrek the Musical is on Netflix. Looks fucking weird. Look at this. Look at the screenshot. Look at that Shrek. Look at that. It's a musical. I I, uh, I started playing Saints Row with Saints Row 3. It's great. It's like an open world Grand Theft Auto game. And uh, it's it's like a comedy game. It's it's so it's really funny. And then Saints Row Four came out, and it's like the same kind of game, but like within the Matrix, and it's just like the perfect perfect game for me. It starts out with uh like this Spec Ops kind of gameplay. It's like third person over the shoulder. It's like you get a gun. It's all serious. After like a f- gunfights and stuff, there's like a nuclear bomb that's going up. And then you attach yourself to it. And you have like a fist fight with someone. And then Aerosmith's Don't Want to Miss a Thing starts playing. And then you just pull out wires of the rocket. And it's great. It's so, and then you you uh just fall back to Earth land. Anyway, so then uh, you get pulled into like the simulation thing, and your friends kind of help you become uh, superhuman. Also, I forgot the game. You're the president and a superhero at the same time. Zach, will you watch this and then report back? It's a Netflix thing. Don't press play. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Shrek the Musical. Yeah. It's on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, uh... Yeah, no. Uh, Saints Row 4 is great. I will watch that probably... Tomorrow. tomorrow. Shrek the Musical? <laughs> yeah. Good. I have nothing to do. Jeff, I want to... Overwatch. I, I mean, I guess you can re- you can let me know how it, the Final Fantasy VII thing was. But, uh... I don't actually care about low brow. How do you? Yeah, Saints Row Four is super low brow. Oh yeah, the Earth gets blown <laughs> up. Yeah, it does, no. and uh, yeah, the rest of it is just from a ship. And uh, Keith David, Keith David, is that the right guy? Earth gets blown up, and what? In Saints Row Four. Oh. Uh, I think it's Keith no, David. I, I never, I never played it. That's been watching you play it lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I'd be, I'm afraid to do that. Was that was a really good one. If I if I fart into this mic, I'm gonna owe you a new mic. Not because I'm gonna shit into it, but because my farts are just gonna linger on it forever. I can feel it. Been eating too many cranberries. Have those linger farts. <laughs> I got zombie. That's it. Farts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I'm actually I'm surprised you got a cranberries reference. I didn't know you you. That's literally the you're only a, song. You're I a would secret know. Cranberries fan. <laughs> no, that, that is really the only song of theirs that I know. Zombie and Linger? Nope, don't even. Oh! Don't want to let it linger. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that I was. The Linger song was a Cranberries oh, reference? Oh, man. You know I'm such a fool. Oh, so you just. You said. Oh, yeah, cran- no, I didn't get the You said one. Cranberry. Yeah, I was thinking. Cranberry of- Zombie, but I was going Linger Cranberry. I went A B, you went B C. Yeah, I went cranberry zombie. I didn't even catch but, the link. But A B and C all work. I was like, what's he know about cranberries that I don't know? <laughs> Whoa. Did you know that they have to like farm cranberries in water? You see ever see that commercial for cranberries and they're like w- wearing like waiters? Is it the one where the lady falls and she goes, she goes uh, 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 uh. I can't the guys I can't swim. <laughs> I can't swim. <laughs> My life alert! My life alert went out. It doesn't work in the water. <laughs> Help! I I stomped and I can't uh, breathe. It's under your giant ass nutsack over there. <laughs> Never tell you about the time in middle school where I had a testicular thingy and when my balls were so swollen up, I had to go to the doctor's. <laughs> no. I never told you that. I mean, maybe, but like, uh... I had three different doctors fill me up in the same day. One time, it was two at once. <laughs> so, like, what were they saying? While mm, they were, boy, take were they shirt off now? Were they going like, <laughs> were they looking at each other, saying like, "Do you feel that?" No, it's over here, like this this thing right here. Do you feel that? Like, is that it? Like, no, no. They were going like, "Oh, you see how it's kind of getting smaller when I milk it down." <laughs> <laughs> first doctor, okay, first doctor, 
first doctor walked out of the room, Ba-ding! walked back in with like the doctor book. It was like looking at it like, I don't know. Oh, I think I, I got to get you into someone else. Uh, that's hilarious. Not that I had ball problems as a young boy, but the fact that the doctor just walked into the room with essentially his textbook. I got an open note to pediatrician at that point. Yeah, you know, I need a closed note doctor. I need that guy to have it on lockdown. So he walked in and you were like, did that come through? Yeah. And then he's like, I think. No, it wasn't an accident, Emma. Everything I do is on purpose. You guys don't, don't realize this, but literally everything that I've done for the last 28 years has led up to this moment right now. I'm going to shotgun this diet, Dr. Pepper. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. I don't want to put anything that's copywritten on here. Nope. I'm not going to do it. Nope. It's crazy how the internet just... Do they, they do not like... So they just make like JavaScript robots that just go go through and... It's I don't know if it's JavaScript. I just say that to, to sound like I know what I'm talking about. They just make robots with JavaScript. <laughs> And, no, uh, no, just replace JavaScript with algorithms. Yeah. Or saying, you just add it in there. Or just JavaScript algorithms. Or you could uh, say algorithmic. <laughs> no, I think it's a genre of music. It's like, <laughs> I think it's like, like... Math music? Like math jazz. One. Three. Plus. <laughs> That's all I had for that one. That's all the numbers. The timing was off, though. It, it, was, like a, you, it was like a one over three timing. A one over oh, three, and uh, that's uh, that's about it for me. Thirty-three point three three three. So, okay, okay. Uh, so, if you play it back, that's actually pretty good. Okay. So, okay. Explain to me, being as explicit as possible, why Tiger King is interesting. Because every, um, everybody, it's been pretty much like, every aspect of that show has been talked about so much that at this point, if you if you've somehow avoided all spoilers for it, it's like, fuck it, I'll talk about it anyway. Okay, so so how I feel about that oh, is right. like the the tickle documentary. Yeah, I heard it mentioned a lot, and a lot of people said a couple little things about the the documentary, and I was like, oh, that sounds crazy. And then I watched it, and I was like, oh, okay, they didn't want to say the rest of it. Yeah, I get it, but I think I've. I think I know just about everything in Tiger King. As, yeah. as far at this as point, yeah, if you haven't probably, if you haven't watched it, you probably know enough about it that you technically have seen I, it. I, 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 I absorbed it via Zeitgeist. I will say that so much happens that you almost like I, I want to watch it again because I know that I missed some stuff because I keep seeing stuff referenced that I didn't even catch. So, but and there's so much stuff happening constantly, and like all the people involved are so fucking weird. They're so weird. They can't even. This is so. It's hard to believe they are actual people. I think that weird people might turn me off a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. So I was watching Penn and Teller bullshit. Yeah. And it was the alien abduction episode. And it was like uh, just oh, a bunch oh, of oh, people yeah. at like a UFO uh, conference or whatever they're called. Convention. I forgot which one was bullshit for a second. Uh, it was like a bunch of people at a UFO convention. Yeah. And. Uh, they were all just obviously like, yeah, I got taken up and like, they were just stupid. Yeah. Just fucking idiots that like backwood trailer people. You never know, it's though. Like, <laughs> no, it's, it's like, you never know. It was consistent, consistently just idiots. Yeah, I think, I think UFO abductions are probably fake. But man, like, how crazy would it be if some. Well, no, I'd like, I would, I, I would hope that like the idea of aliens, that's super neat. I like that. Yeah. Uh, and I would hope that uh, that's a thing or something. I don't know. I don't ever, I don't really think about it that much. It's definitely a thing. But I feel like that's how Tiger King is for me. Um, it's like people who had some money, got some tigers, and then there's just drama around that. Well, th- there, there's one interesting f- fact in the Which show. Which I guess is fine. That's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. It's it's if if you like like a good character study of like how weird different types of people uh, can be, it's good for that. Um, but there's one little fact that they kind of gloss over a little bit, but I think it was that 
there's more tigers in the United States than there are in Africa. Okay. Wild? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be, dude. That'd be sweet. Well, Do pretty they... soon here. Holy shit. Imagine if they all got out. And we just... How many... I heard, actually, I think I heard Joe Rogan. I could just keep getting stoned and listen to Joe Rogan podcast. And, like, it just I think it just works its way into my brain. Just find someone who's never heard of it. Oh, man. And then... Mom! Oh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. And then uh, she'll be like, oh, my son is so fucking smart. He thinks about stuff so much. He has a sauna? <laughs> <laughs> What's infrared? <laughs> infra? I always thought it was infra. <laughs> when did you learn that it was infrared instead of infrared? I thought it was infrared. Infer. I-N-F-E-R. Wait, it's I-N-F-R-A-R-E. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Is this one of those things where I go, I go oh, no. Infrared. Okay, good. Sometimes I bring up something that I think is right, was and then I go... Are you right? Sorry, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was reading the comments. I-N-F-R-A-R-E-D. Wow, that's crazy. You just blew my mind. I honestly, my whole life, I thought this was infer. Like, I-N-F-E-R. I just never saw it Oh, like infrared? That. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was infa. I-N-F-A-R-E-D. Hmm. For probably till after high school, for sure. Wait, I feel bad. And I took science class. <laughs> Is I was throwing a hard plural. R on that for so long I didn't even need to. You fucking hard R. The Al Gore rhythm. Al Gore. Jeff had a ball to get twisted once. How do you think how do you think Jeff got his ball twisted? Uh a little C B T. C B T. Got him ball torture. Oh, okay. Think he was getting stomped? Yeah, I think it was getting stomped. He's just getting twisted. I think it was getting... Put my testicles okay. in the battery compartment okay, of, let me of paint your a picture. It. Let me paint a picture for you. Twisted. Chad, and he's the guy who Chad, goes, Chad, ah! Chad, Chad, let me, paint a, let me paint a real sexy picture for you. I want you to play bop it with my dick and balls. <laughs> That's what he says. No, there's there sits a Jeff on a chair with the bottom cut out a la... Casino Royale. Casino Royale. Okay, yeah. that's exact. I thought that before you even said with the bottom <laughs> cut out. He is. That's what I wanted to happen. Butt ass naked. Who's got the rope with the thing? Or is that what's happening? No, that's not at all what's happening. Oh shit! No, nah, so there's a rock up sock em robot down there. Oh no! No no uh, no! I'm gonna think of the right thing. The uh, where it has the two guys like this, rock sock em robots, <laughs> and then one of the heads goes like that. No, yeah, but no, but his big fat meaty balls are just hanging right between them. Oh, okay. And has just. Both people on both sides just fucking furiously smashing it. So Jeff's balls are getting like the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four from the old red and blue. Until he finally comes all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do hungry, hungry hippos for that part. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little it's the yeah. little pearls. No 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 no, it's actually everyone there's dressed up as hippos and they just, <laughs> they just, that's that's the game. They were playing hungry. Do you think hungry. Jeff is masturbating right now to this idea? <laughs> He's like, Oh my god, I I could only imagine. No, I think he was already masturbating while watching this and now he just happens to be thinking about that. Now. Put your knee back up in the shot. Isn't that, that's the weirdest up, thing, is that belt. with all of this live stream comedy stuff, you never know what people are actually doing. They could just be sitting there, just slowly milking out a boner a little bit, like, like what's happening right there. <laughs> I don't know where the lines on the shot are, so I just. Uh, so is that it as far as Tiger King goes? Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What do you want to know about like, it? Do you have know, any I, questions? Because seen... you've, you've seen like enough things, like you've probably seen like a lot of memes and stuff about it, stuff referenced about it. I don't know. All right. I guess I'm not actually that interested. Watching. I mean, right now, I, I, but I have be nothing else like, to do. So. I have nothing else to do. I want to be yeah. like convinced that it's uh, good. But I'm I still think... not convinced. I've seen clips. I'm like, okay. Uh, yo, I should do that's, sure that's a bunch of... Well, yeah, that, that's a... Well, like, I've been around white trash so many stages of my life, including Florida. Yeah. So it's like... And in Florida, you're kind of by Oklahoma and Florida, right? Um, yeah. no. Where's Oklahoma at? I'm not gonna. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, no, okay, it's too, too small. Yeah. Oklahoma's like right in the middle. Ah, you piece of shit. Oklahoma's by Texas. Um, that's kind of close, right? Not really. Florida's on the, the right side. Yeah, Texas is right in the middle. Texas is right in the middle, yeah. 
Well, I mean, the country's pretty big. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. There's yeah. a bunch of states in between. There's a few states in between. There's like two <laughs> states in between. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, it's like, what, Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, and then Texas? No, it's not. But then Texas, is it? Mississippi, Texas? Oh, that's so trippy. It's so weird to see, like, the United States at, like, a different angle. You're just so used to seeing it up and down, Zs. Anyways, man, I am real high right now. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, let's see. You guys also heard the up and down Zs, right? There's there's a okay. You got Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama. Now nah, you could probably make Arkansas, Louisiana. I still got to go through Mississippi and Alabama. Did you say you could make Arkansas, Louisiana? No, you can make it by going just through Arkansas and Louisiana. Make what? Uh, Oklahoma to Florida. Are you trying to see how many states you have to go through? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, there's a place in Mexico called Tabasco. But, like, you understand that it's kind of funny to say, Florida, that's right next to Oklahoma, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But now that you, now yeah, that it's... no, it's kind of like saying, oh, Oregon, that's next to, let me see. Montana. Like Utah. Yeah. It's bigger states. But it is crazy how, like, yeah, there's a lot of states in between, but they're not that they're not that big of states. The real narrow boys. Dude, Alabama's fun. A lot of people hate Alabama. I mean, they did the whole uh Alabama's on a lot of shitty things. But oh the abortion thing. Yeah, that's stupid, but uh I I mean it's fun. I went to a uh flea market there. There's a flea market that how they have. How many fleas in, did you buy? In Mobile, Alabama. Um, depending on how many were on that Chihuahua that I had for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I got a Chihuahua in Alabama and then had to resell it like in the same hour. Really? Because I wasn't allowed to have a Chihuahua. Oh, that's got nice. it. Figured out that I wasn't allowed to have it. Because you know how like I mean there are some people that uh, will get a dog and then be like, hey, I have a dog, instead of be like, can I get a dog? Okay, thanks. Uh, and I was, I, was, I was one of the people who got the dog and then said, hey, I have a dog, which is a gamble. And the, uh, it was not allowed. <laughs> and so I had to resell it at the flea market, which is fucking yeah, awesome. No, they don't. They did not take it back, so I had to resell it just to another person, just like <laughs> here, saying, like, here yeah, half. Stand, oh yeah, yeah, no, exactly outside, that, exactly like, that. Yeah, 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 because you couldn't. Yeah, it was just a Mexican oh family, just like here. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. What did you name the dog? Did 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 he get a chance to name it? No. It's a shame. I think I might have had the foresight to not get attached before I asked. Yeah, totally. Or before I told that I just like, I mean, $150 for a Chihuahua is like not that bad. But uh, I think 50 yeah. to 75 uh, Purebred. You say you got it from a Mexican family? Yeah. Checks out. You got hip dysplasia the second I bought it. It's like a Jaguar. Or Purebreds, man. A Jaguar. Jaguar. So uh, what are you doing to, uh, are you stretching? How's your poop? Oh, yeah, dude. Yesterday I did a... Uh... Uh, I told you I was going to look up, you know, you could look up whatever your ailment is. Just what? look up yoga videos for it. I looked up 15 minute yoga for constipation. What started this whole process? Oh, I drank a bunch of beers and ate a bunch of fried rice. Yeah. And my tummy got all upset. I had, yeah. to lay, I had to lay down to nap it off, but I woke up and I still felt sick. Yeah. I cre I created like a gas bomb in my stomach. Well, I think it's just an ex like in a huge expanded do you ever hear my farts through through the wall? <laughs> at, at, at night. At sometimes, nighttime. sometimes I hear you laugh, and I wonder if that's why you're laughing. Because I'll just hear like, uh, and I'm like, okay. Because I have I have farts that uh, that make me laugh because they're you know I had one earlier Ooh. right into the microphone, but I also have farts that uh, they have a smell to them because like I I sleep uh, weirdly kind of like a va like a vampire on my back. And like I'll fart, and then I'll just go, whew, and I'll just waft right mm -hmm. uh, like across my face. And I've done that before. I have ones that smell, and the way they smell makes me laugh. I've had I've had it's ones I've had ones that uh, like kind of get trapped underneath the blanket a little bit, and then you like roll over or something, and it just creates like opens a little pocket in your blanket. 
Yeah. It just like slow leaks out, and you're like, oh. Oh my god! Oh, it's so much worse after it sits. I, I like yeah. Oh, they should never ferment. Never ferment a fart. Oh, maybe yeah. That's that's like a slow cook. Yeah, it's like a slow bake. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's like sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's a slow just, cook. Uh, it kind of is. Yeah, you just kind of honestly sauerkraut. You just take cabbage and mix it with salt and just kind of mix it together and just let it sit and mix it together every once in a while. It just makes the juice. Hmm. Dude, if you gave me like a hundred guesses of what sauerkraut is i would not have guessed it was even cabbage oh really yeah i i don't know i don't i've only had sauerkraut from costco with tongs uh, oh, oh no, it, comes, hot... it comes in a little uh plastic container oh, does it? oh you know what i like at costco is their uh their onion cutting machine i've only used it like twice in my life what's it for for, for the hot dogs and their del and their little is it like a rotisserie? Is that still open? Thing? Costco? Yeah. Well, no. The uh, the food place at Costco. I got time, man, and I've been craving a hot dog. I doubt it. But oh, Roxy Dogs isn't there anymore. You're, did you ever go to Roxy Dogs? Mm-hmm. The hot dog place downtown? No, but I I don't really like you know expensive fancy hot dogs. It was like four bucks, four to six bucks, nah, depending on the hot much. dog you're getting. But once you once but you, you see could that Costco put, deal, you could put like. Fucking Doritos and like a whole, like the, a whole salad on top of it. I don't it. like to get weird with it, dude. I'll just go like some some nice mustard and put some power, some sauerkraut fucking, on there. I think they have uh, but sometimes onions Captain too. Crunch there. Fucking Captain it's, Crunch. Yeah, it's it's weird. I mean, they don't they they went out of business. <laughs> That's what happens with that. It's like onion. it's like onion slots. That's what I call Jeff's mom's vagina. The onion slot. Because it's got layers. You gotta peel them back. And it's like an ogre's. Gotta get to that speed bag. What we got? As far as uh, as far as TV I've been watching, um, Futurama again yeah oh yeah well like, I'm, I've been to, watching... I'm to bender's big score uh, a little bit of, a little bit of uh 30 rock and a little bit of parks and rec i got uh, back on co- uh, community since they're on netflix a little bit of community yeah, yeah. um yeah I, I think i'm going into like regression or something of just like no nope, i'm not i'm not i don't think i'm gonna move forward with media anymore <laughs> i'm just gonna you found you found what you liked, and you like you have enough of it that you can I got, rotate it. I got this. If you you said Scarface is on something, Hulu. Scarface is on Hulu. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, I think I gotta get some cocaine first, though. Yeah, pace back and forth while you watch it. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's so fun. Play with my Nerf guns and God knife. Damn. Real oh, that's a fake, really fucking good idea. Fake guns and real knives. <laughs> I just realized that's what my life is. Oh man, I watched a. Uh, uh, Rat Pack biography oh, one time nice. when I was drinking a lot and I just stood in front of the TV and paced back and forth just like I think I might have even been smoking inside. It oh, was like I had cool, a fan yeah. blowing out the door and I just was like watching this documentary in the Rat Pack. It's like this is fucking great. Ooh, part of me feels like my uh my my love for day drinking comes and smoking comes from Mad Men. It's like they've been watching a lot of Mad Men. Oh no, I but I did a lot when I was younger. I was like, man, they're so cool. They were so cool back then. Yeah, they are cool. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of people that uh doctors giving birth having a cigarette hanging out of their mouth. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> it is great. Yeah, I'll brush that off. What's de lousing? That's when uh you get rid of someone's lice. Okay. And I think you, by squirting a lime all over their head. No, uh, that's not what it is. Yeah. That's from Shawshank, like when they were getting them ready for prison, they sprayed them down and deloused them, so they just threw a bunch of powder on them. Yeah, that's lime. Oh, lime. Like, I thought you meant, like, okay. <laughs> they're squeezing the lime on them. <laughs> that's, uh... That's what they do in Mexico. Yeah. A little lime, a little tahine. What's that? It's like chili salt. Tahine? Yeah. T-A-J-I-N? I think so. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.
I don't know what that means. I think that means white power. It doesn't anymore. I mean, what anymore now that they're co- saying, now that I'm, the virus I'm okay. is out? I'm okay. Now that they released the virus, I'm doing white okay. power is not a thing. It's not. Now you gotta shoot thumbs up. <laughs> it made it look like I was doing like a Hitler nose, but I was just scratching my mustache. Yeah, I thought you were doing Hitler face. No, I was not doing Hitler face. Okay. I think Black Lives Matter. You That's think? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>